y'all ever think to yourself that this life that we live has to be some type of sick joke? That this existence that we were given, you know, this has to be some type of joke, man. This has to be some type of nightmare. You know, when will I wake up from this nightmare? There's no way that the one chance I get at life, the one opportunity I get to live and experience life, you know, I get chosen to be a lonely, unwanted, rejected man. You know, there's no way, bro. How is it that my one chance at life I'm born the worst thing imaginable. I'm born poor. I'm born not that attractive. I'm born to be rejected and ignored by everybody in this world. There's no way this isn't some sick joke. You know, sometimes I just... You know, I'd be thinking to myself all the things I could try to do to improve my life. And it all just seems so pointless, bro. It's like, no matter what I do, I'm meant to live and experience this lonely life. This miserable, lonely experience. I don't know what I did to deserve this. I don't know what I did to be granted the worst possible position any human could be given, you know, just an outcast male, there's no way that that isn't the lowest thing to be born, an outcasted male, like, even if you have some type of special disability or something, more than likely you'll have people who love you, you'll be treated right and kind by society because of your disability, because of your defect. But when your only defect is being born ugly, being born outcasted, no one treats you right. This can't be my life. I feel so lonely. I feel so unwanted. I feel like nowhere I go, I'll have success. You know, I I watch some documentaries. I watch things on the internet about different parts of the world. Japan, Turkey, South Korea, all these places. And there are times where I tell myself, what if I move there? What if, what if... What if I go and try to have life somewhere else? But to be real, you know, it's not even your location. That's just the life you were given. Nowhere I go, nowhere I turn, I'm a, am I going to find what I'm looking for? Nowhere that I go will I be desired or will I be normal? You know, you just, sometimes you just feel like you need a way out. Sometimes you just feel like your life is so shit that you just need somewhere to go. But unfortunately for men like us, anywhere we go, it's not going to make any difference. This is what will happen everywhere we go. We're going to be unwanted. We're going to be alone going to be outcasted we're going to be tolerated at best it's it's like a sick joke all that growing all that going to school all that sacrifice that men like me make to become an adult we go to school we get good grades we study you know, and you're, as you're developing, as you're growing, you think 
that there's going to be this grandiose life awaiting you when you become an adult because of how much work it actually is to become an adult. And you do all that work, you grow up, and you literally live the shittiest life imaginable. That, that, how's that fair? Where's the justice? All that effort we put into our lives, all that effort just to be outcasts. That, that's, that's disgusting, man. That's not fair. Some people are born and their life is just so easy from the beginning, you know. And some of us, our life is difficult from the start. And we never find peace. I can't remember the last time I had peace. I can't remember the last time I felt at ease. I honestly can't even remember the last time I I was happy. I need things like, like marijuana. I need things like tobacco and just to feel any bit of happiness in my life now the only time I feel happier the only time I feel normal or somewhat relaxed is when I'm high off marijuana you know that what I what bitter irony growing up I used to stay drug free everybody around me was smoking and I used to tell them things like oh that's for losers and I don't need that and now and as an adult in reality that's the only thing that keeps me going it's the only thing that makes me feel at at peace you know because it's like no matter what I do no matter how hard I try I'll never be normal I'll never be a normal guy I'll never experience what a normal guy is supposed to experience it's almost too late for me you know 25 soon to be 26 I'm just getting older just losing more hair follicles off my head I'm just getting wrinklier you know, I was never tall to begin with, 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, and the older you get, you'll start losing inches. Sooner or later, I'll be 5'7". You know, that's not fair, man. Like I said earlier, there are times where I think to myself, what if I go to a different country? What if I go to Japan? What if I go to all these places and, you know, it's just false hope. Because I know deep down, everywhere I go, I'm going to be the same. Everywhere I go, I'm going to be a short little Mexican. You know, sometimes I do hate being Mexican. You know, or at least, I I at least hate not being a Chad Regas. Because my race, we're not very attractive. You know, we're not. There's nothing, there's nothing exotic about us. So if I go to Japan, I'll just be a Mexican, a stinky, bean-eating Mexican there. At least if I was white, you know, I'd be a white guy there. So it's like I, I really have no options. This is what a sick joke. All that effort that I put in just for me to live a boring mundane unadventurous adult life I always you know I I grew up watching Tokyo Drift I grew up you know being surrounded by the car culture JDM American Muscle And I remember always watching Tokyo Drift and, you know, having fantasies about living in Japan, seeing the beautiful Japanese women. And 
it's sad knowing I won't ever be able to enjoy that. Simply because of my genetics. Simply because I'll always be a short Mexican. A brown, short Mexican. I'll never have desirable genetics. So I'm sentenced to a life of masturbation. Busting gallons all over myself. Because that's one of the only bits of pleasure I have throughout my day. Man, where's the justice, man? There's no way this is life. There's no way this is... This is my one chance at life. This is not fair. That's not, it's not fair. It's not fair that I was born. And this is what I get sentenced to. That's not fair. It's not fair. How was I born? How how was I that one sperm that broke the egg? And this is what I get. People always talk about how life is beautiful. People always talk about how life is is precious. Maybe for you. But for men like me, life is the biggest hell ever. Because we have to walk around in spectator mode. Watching people enjoy themselves. Watching men have the women we want. Watching people enjoy the lives we desire. And that's all we could do. We could just watch. We could never partake. We're always watching the porn. We're never making the porn. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's how you know the world is in a just place. When you're born and that one chance at life, that one opportunity at life that you get, and you're born ugly, you're born undesirable, you're born awkward, you're born lame, that's not fair. It's not fair, man. seems like it's everybody but but me it feels like everybody everybody gets what they want except me you know I was born into that, into that small population of men who who just won't ever know true happiness you know I remember man back back in the day I used to get excited about things I haven't felt excited about anything in a long time. You know, the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer came out today. And it it just, it's so sad that seeing that sparks zero interest in me. I hit the point where if it's not in the flesh, it doesn't excite me. You know, 10 years ago, maybe... And I remember when GTA 5 came out. It was one of the two games throughout my entire life that I pre-ordered. I remember coming out of ninth grade. And my sister waiting for me. With the copy of Grand Theft Auto 5. She went and picked it up for me. I remember being so excited, so happy. over a video game you know my life was so blue pilled my life was still so beautiful that a stupid video game got me excited haven't had that in years man you know all video games movies none of that excites me because all of that's just cope All of that is just me looking for something to do to keep my mind off what I truly should be doing as a man. As a a man, 
as at least as a normal man, life is your playground. But it's not for me, you know? So for me to play video games, it would just be me trying to keep keep my mind off what I truly want. You know, for all you guys that are still young, man, enjoy it, bro. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your ability to feel happiness because once you hit a certain age, you, you stop feeling happiness. Everything, it's like you have a, a, a cloud over you that just follows you. Because, I mean, technically you do. I mean, your life is unfulfilling. You don't get female validation. You won't get to spread your seed. You'll never know what your son looks like. You'll never know what your daughter looks like. You'll never know what happiness and love feel like as an adult. You know, I miss back back in the days, man, when I used to get excited about things like video games. And now the only thing that excites me is the possibility to be normal. But unfortunately for me, you know, it's set in stone that I will never be normal. I will never know what it's like to hold a woman's hand. A woman who loves me. I'll never know what it's like to walk through the town center. With a beautiful, young, feminine woman by my side. I'll never know what it's like to travel and enjoy the world and all its wonder with the beautiful woman. Maybe I could save up, go travel the world alone. But for what? There's no point for you as a man alone to travel the world when you're undesired. What's the point? You're just gonna you're just traveling to beat your meat in different parts of the world. The whole exciting thing about traveling is the women is going to a new territory, laying conquest on the lands, spreading your seed. But that's not a reality I'll ever get to live. Even if I do travel to Japan, even if I do travel to Turkey. It'll just be to beat, beat my meat in a hotel. Maybe I hire a, a girlfriend. Maybe I hire a woman, an escort. But once I bust that nut and I give her hundreds of dollars, I'll just feel even lonelier and emptier than I did before. Like Elliot Rogers said, a beautiful place is the darkest hell when you have to experience it alone. You know, that that man was ahead of his time. It's so sad, you know. When you're a young man in your prime, you're just forced to rot alone. You're just forced to spectate everybody around you living their life. Life's full of fun. Life's full of happiness. Life's full of bliss. And you, you know, you're stuck with this bitter, black pilled experience. There are, there are times I wish I could restart my life. As much as I love my parents, there are times I wish I did get a different life. Because the older I get, it just becomes harder and harder to cope. You know, like I said, at one point, video games were my cope. I used to be able to play eight hours a day, ten hours a day, keep my mind off of everything. Now I can't even hop on for ten minutes because all these memories of what I'm missing out on just come back. You 
and all these thoughts of what I'm missing out on. You know, after you experience the real world, you see what's out there. No video game will ever compare. And it's sad, you know. It's so sad how little by little all your copes just start losing its it, 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 it's you know it's it's attractiveness every cope just step by step gets dismantled and you're left with nothing you know you'll hit a point you you run out of copes instead of coping you just spend your day lamenting everything that you're missing out on it's not fun, man. Ah, oh, man, it's so... It's such a bitter pill to swallow knowing that. It's just your genetics. It's just... Your DNA is not meant to thrive in this world. Because... As a man, you look for all these... You look for all these options, man. You look for all these ways out. What if I Geomax? What if I just pay for it? What if I just, you know, Homestead Max? What if I just Shepherd Max? Go herd sheep. But all that's just to escape your failures. All that is just to escape and try to block out of your mind what you really want. What you really want is to be normal. What you really want is to fit in. What you really want is to have a beautiful woman by your side who is about you and you only. What you want is just to live a normal life full of fun and love. But you know you'll never have that. Because it's been proven to you time and time again. This is just not fair. This cannot be real life. There is no way that this is my life. There is no way that this is my one opportunity at life. And there is no changing it. That's brutal. You get this one opportunity at life and you're forced to rot alone. You're forced to begin to go crazy alone because no women ever want to be with you. No men want to hang out with you anymore because you're a loser. You're a weirdo and you have nothing to offer them. And you think of traveling, you think of geomaxing, and then you realize that thanks to globalization, all these women are the same now. We were born in the worst era possible to be an ugly, undesired man. At least the men in the generations before us who were undesired, they could at least travel to countries and flash some cash. We can't even do that anymore. Sooner or later, all these countries will begin to use dollars. Sooner or later, all these countries will begin to develop their economies. Your, your money won't be worth anything over there anymore. You are literally forced by everything, by the world, to rot alone. You were chosen to be an example for other people. Showing them how much worse their life could be. Because they could be you. This is brutal, man. Peace.